All right, shalom to the elect. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honor to my apostles. There was a great millstone that taught me the truth. Peace, love, and salutations to this corny Wa'achim. And shalom to the predestined elect, scattered abroad the four corners of the earth. All right, today is October 20, 2021, the year of hastening the day of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, which will uh, quickly, speedily, all right, ap approaching. The great return of our Lord and our Savior, Mashiach Yahweh so-called Negro, so-called black man, according to biblical prophecy. All right, but before his, uh, his great uh, return, as it is written, okay, uh, I come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? And, you know, the Spirit's been hitting heavy, all right, these uh, past couple of weeks, pretty much going into the, the empty shelves, all right, um, you know, the, the, the food uh, shortages taking place, all right, and, um, you know, it's going to get a lot worse, man. You know, and um, I was just reading through some of these comments, okay, and, and people are, are careless. I'm sorry, not careless, well, that too, but uh, clueless is what I meant to say of what's getting ready to actually take place. You know, people are so used to things, um, you know, coming and going. Well, look, these perils that's getting ready to take hold of you people in these last days, uh, days all right, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere, man, okay? All right, uh, you know, you got people out here making a joke of this. This is not the time to be thinking this is a game, man. All right, a lot of you, that's why the scriptures say, all right, majority of our people, all right, uh, what's, what's that, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man, yeah. Jake is destroyed. So as you can see, the title is, um, uh, there's a video here before I play it. It says, many store shelves are empty and it might be the new normal, see? All right, and this was uh, posted a week ago. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. I got an article, a few precepts, and Lord's will edify to the elect, man. If you've been to the store lately, you may have been met with scenes like this. Empty shelves from the cereal aisle to deodorant and paper goods, everyday items in increasingly short supply. Data from last week shows just how widespread the problem is. 16% of beverages were out of stock at the nation's grocery stores, 14% of snack foods, and 13% of frozen items out of stock. It makes me kind of angry, like, why? It's the latest effect of shipping and distribution delays that have hampered... First, first and foremost, okay, all praises, glory, and honor, and credit is given to you. How about you outside for these things taking place? The scriptures speak about... You know, at the end it shall speak and not lie. These are all uh, uh, events, all right, that are staged, all right, in the book of Yahweh Shemel Shai that are uh, written down, okay, that are soon to come to pass, man. All right, i.e. prophecy, man. Okay? And for two, Esau Edom is, uh, you know, setting this all up, man. Okay, so pretty much everything is being played out. Okay? So nothing happens by a coincidence, man. Right, like this is all the will and the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to get you people in a very uncomfortable state. Okay? And as you can see, the title again says, The New Normal, man. Okay? Nearly every business in America. Something is interrupted somewhere in the food chain, whether it's packaging or containers or labor or the trucking to get it off the warehouse dock. Dozens of cargo ships are still lingering out at sea, while trucks, railways, and warehouses remain understaffed. We're buying more products. So you have cargo out there staged. <laughs> you have people walking off their jobs already retiring early because they're not with the jab, they're not with getting the second dose and the booster shots, none of this. You have people that's knowing what's going on and, hey man, it's, it's gonna get real bad out here, man. It's gonna get real bad. Out Actually, it's just gonna get worse. Okay, and, and this is all gonna push forward until the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Which matter of fact, before I actually finish this uh, video here, <clears throat> I wanna go ahead and get this here in Isaiah 13 and verse 15, okay? All right, um, matter of fact, let me just read verse 11 and 12, and then I'm going to jump down 15 just to, you know, drive the point. All right, this is Isaiah 13 and verse 11. It says, and I will punish the, punish the world right, for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. 
Give me one second. Neighbors passing by. Give me one second. So lock you. Um, Isaiah 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All right, yeah, now this is ultimately talking about Esau, Edom, the wicked, that the Bible speaks of, the devil that the Bible speaks of. But ultimately, too, all right, the scriptures say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished because our people are joined hand in hand with this man's, um, you know, this man's society, okay? They're down with the image, okay? Well, soon to be, um, one world order, all right, a new world order, they're down with, which will be destroyed by the way of Yahweh Shemi Shai. Okay, and they're just pretty much down with the left hand side. So the Lord is going to, all right, lay low all the haughties, haughtiness, okay, and the pride and the arrogancy. See, verse 12, it says, And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the Lord is going to, all right, it's going to, it's going to be a time where, the, uh, the man of Yahweh Shem Al Shah going to be more desirable, all right, uh, for their uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding than your necessary food, man. Than than your necessary uh, uh, riches, man. Okay. Why? Because the scriptures say. Let's get that real quick. Uh, Zephaniah one, I believe. Yeah. All right, here it is. Yeah. So Zephaniah 1 and verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Yeah, verse 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire all right, of his jealousy for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. See, so... Not even your, your 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 silver, your gold, okay, your FRNs, okay, nothing is going to be able to deliver you from the wrath of Yahweh and the coming plagues upon the planet Earth, okay. And in the NLT, Isaiah 13 and 12 says, "I will make I will make people, which is talking about the man of the Lord, scarcer than gold, more rare than the fine gold of Ophir." See, so the men of the Lord are going to be very precious in these last days. But this is what I wanted to get here, Isaiah 13. All right, in verse 16, it says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. See? So their houses are going to be spoiled. Okay. Yo, uh, and, hey, look at look at what it's saying in the in, uh, Salakia. I'm getting a little bit excited here, Salakia. Look at what uh, Isaiah 13, verse 16 says in the NLT. It says, their, ch their little children will be dashed to death before their eyes their homes will be sacked ransacked right and their wives will be raped so it's gonna be it's gonna get bad man all right the times we're coming into is serious man okay all right y'all watch my shot is not playing man okay all right because why right, for the lack of bread than ever before, whether they be online, pick up at stores, or at our big box retailers. And the American importer is struggling to keep up with that demand. Big box retailers like Target, Costco, and Home Depot are all scrambling to make sure shelves stay stocked. To have